Welcome back. So we showed you before those the break the crazy prices in Vancouver for gas. Let's bring in Mike Apple and a buck 62. Mm -hmm. This is obviously yeah. a record in North America. Uh, there's probably a number of factors in this one. So something we need to worry about here at home, I'm guessing not so much to the extent. Good morning. Well, good morning, Melanie. Don't be surprised, though, if we don't see record prices here in the GTA in the not too distant future either, because right now we're only five cents below the previous record at uh, which was a dollar 42 set a few years back. Uh, we're at a dollar 37 and change almost a dollar 38 as of this morning in Vancouver. They're paying a dollar 62, which works out to if you're converting it to gallons, six dollars per gallon. That's in Canadian funds. In U.S. dollars, it's a little less than five, but you know they're paying 280, 285 or something like that per gallon in the United States right now. Yeah, there are a lot of factors here. First of all, you've got this dispute between Alberta and BC on the Kinder Morgan Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion. Um, so, you know, has Alberta been throttling back the supply of gasoline to Vancouver? specifically to hit consumers where it hurts right in the wallet. Um, you've got carbon taxes very high in B.C. Uh, as well, it's, you know, it's kind of interesting to compare that Vancouverites actually pay more than what they pay in Hawaii, which has no refineries. They have to import all of their gasoline. Plus, you've got seasonal uh, switchovers as well to the summertime blends because those sound just delicious. So that's what we've got uh, going on across the country on the gas price front. And again, here in the GTA, buck 38 coming in as of this morning. Coming up today, key econo economic policy or economic signal. The uh, GDP report, this is the uh, tabulation of economic growth for the month of February. Now, I misspoke because I thought, okay, today's May 1st, and the GDP data is typically two months old. So I thought this was March. Nope, not so much, February. So it's the middle of the first quarter. Nevertheless, if uh, the economy rebounds from January and it's on pace for good uh, growth, then you know, that could be good for the Canadian dollar. Something to watch if you've got a mortgage as well, because this all ties into what the Bank of Canada does with interest rates. So uh, a strong economy and inflation, then you can bet on rising interest rates going forward. Of course, the opposite is true as well. And Apple reports earnings later today, Melanie, and this is going to be very interesting because a lot of the naysayers have been saying that Apple has been maybe seeing slowing sales of iPhones. Now, every time people have said this, the opposite, of course, happens, and Apple reports a blowout earnings update. And the big question is, Melanie, as well, what will Apple do with all of that money it's supposedly bringing back from offshore accounts under U.S. tax reform? Do they hike the dividend or buy back some stocks? So a lot riding on those results later today. Back to you.